You probably saw the Meverse reaction popping up all over Twitter right now. So I made a template. I'm gonna show you how to customize it to make your own. And for my Twitch streamers out there, I'm gonna show you how you can create a channel point reward that makes it pop up on screen with some sound effects. Let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go to photop.com, click on templates right here. And then in the search bar, you can type my name. It is scale level. And you're gonna see Meverse Ya reaction template. And click on it and click on it again. There it is. So I recreated the whole thing. Basically, we have the button here. It's going to be yellow. And then you have a group called icon. So anything you put in this group will have some sort of effect. It's going to have the inner shadow like this. And then finally, we're going to have the text that you can modify as you wish. So let's say you wanted a different icon. You're going to see I already have one in there. What you can do with Photo P is go to the shape tool, click and hold, go to custom shape. And then up top here, you're going to have a whole bunch of shapes to choose from as soon as they appear. There you go. They even have a bunch of social media stuff and some emojis. If I click on this one, all I have to do is click and drag. I can hold shift to maintain proportions and uh, you're going to see the color is brown here. All I have to do is click on the icon, double click on the icon, tap, tap. There you go. And then I can pick the color that I want. It doesn't have to be green. It can also be red. And there you go. The effect here is going to be that little gradient and then that inner shadow. If you don't want it to have that, you can also drag it out of the group and drop it just like that in the group. There you go. Turn it off, turn this one on, turn it off, turn this one on. All right, now let's say that you want to change the color of the button in general. So you're gonna see the button here is yellow. You can double click on the icon. There you go. and. It's that simple. Just put whatever color you want. Let's say that you want to make, I don't know, a video game inspired one, like a Valorant one. Now, of course, this would not be for commercial use, but we can copy an image directly from Google Image. I can control V to paste it in there. Control Alt T to transform, or you can just go to, uh, what is it? Edit, transform, scale. I'm going to hold Alt to drag it all the way up like this. I'm going to right click up horizontally. I'm going to place it kind of like this. Now I placed it on top of the button and I'm going to hold alt and click once. Now with the move tool, I can move it around and it's just going to stick to that. Right. And of course the text doesn't really match. So I can select the text. I can double click on it. And then up top, I'm going to have the color here and I can make that white or actually this blue, but brighter. There you go. And once you're done, of course, you can just go file export as PNG. Make sure quality is hundred percent and save and it will download. I can click here. There it is. If I want to make something cute instead, I'm going to double click on the shape. Let's use this as an example. This is from Vecteezy. I'm going to control V, control Alt T to transform. I'm going to place it over there. Press enter. I'm going to double click on that button and actually switch the color. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's get some like sparkles in there. I just type sparkle overlay and we're going to drop this in here. Control Alt T. Okay. Make sure it's on top of the button. Hold Alt and create a clipping mask. Then we're going to go up here where it says normal. That is the blending mode. We're going to pick linear dodge. Nice. Now we have uh, some sparkles. We can move it around and you can see it's not going on top of the unicorn because it's not on top of it. So we can drag the unicorn down and also create a clipping mask for the unicorn. So it fits to the button. Okay, sparkles now affect everything. You can just add your own effects at the bottom here. Effect, drop shadow. There you go. And once you're done, file, export as PNG. Cool. And congrats. Not only you know how to make your own Meverse reaction, but you also know how to basically make a panel for anything. A Twitch panel, a, a YouTube banner, like same principles. Anyways. Okay, so that's my OBS setup. We can keep it pretty simple and just add it as an image. Click plus, click image and go find it. All right. Then from there, we can use something like StreamerBot to basically tell it to turn it on and off every time someone redeems a channel point or every time someone types the word yeah in chat. I think like that is fine. I don't want it to be distracting at all. So turning it on and off would look like this. It would just show up and then disappear. In StreamerBot, I would go into actions. I would create a new action, call it. Then under sub actions, I would go to OBS source, set source visibility state. So we would go from visible and then we would add a delay and then we would put it to hidden. Let's do it. Visible, right click core delay. Let's hold it for 1500 milliseconds. So 1.5 seconds. Let's duplicate this one and double click it and make it hidden. Nice. From there, you can pick which triggers you want. I like the idea of every time someone types it in chat. So I'm going to go to commands. I'm going to right click, click add. 
and I'm going to type the command to be yeah. Click OK, go back to action and find that command. So core commands, command triggered, find it, click OK. All right, so it's going to begin by being hidden. So I hide it in OBS and I type yeah. What the, what just happened? <laughs> Yeah, turns out um, my camera was selected. I forgot to pick the right source. So the source is Miiverse. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Double click on the second one. And once again, Miiverse, yeah. Okay, okay, here we are. We're just gonna type, yeah. Okay, it pops up and it disappears. Personally, I like to be a little bit more bougie than that. We're gonna animate it with the Move plugin. So I'm gonna right click on the, the scene. I'm gonna go to filters. I'm gonna click plus to add a new filter and I'm gonna find a move source. Click OK. And we're gonna find our source. Miiverse, yeah, right there. And basically this is gonna be like the initial position. So exactly where it is. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna click get transform. Nice. From there, I'm gonna duplicate that first action. Move source two. And this is gonna be the second position I want it to be in. Okay, let me move this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And I basically just want it to be slightly bigger. I'm going to drag the corner and place it roughly there. All right. One thing I want to try is to have the easing function be elastic. Okay. I can scroll down, click get transform. Nice. So if I turn on move source one, we have that. And if I turn on move source two, we have that, but it's a little too, too abrupt. Let's try to make it last longer, like a thousand milliseconds. And 1,500. Okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna make sure that the first one is actually a super small number. And I'm gonna scroll down to actions and I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna say that it basically should trigger every time that the source comes on. I'm gonna pick source show, nice. And I'm gonna tell it that the next move should be the move source two, so the position that we want. Okay, now move source two. What do we want to happen? I'm gonna find end delay and I'm gonna make it wait two seconds. And then the <laughs> the move plugin is so good. I'm basically going to tell it that once it's once it's done, it can just shut down. Hide at the end of movement. So the whole delay on and off thing, we don't really need that with Streamerbot. All we need to do is say, hey, turn on. So I can delete that. I can delete that delay also. OK, and we can test it by just pressing on the first one and not touching anything. There you go. That's simple. Click again. Oh, I forgot to tell it to actually wait. So the streamer bot turns it on. So good. So, so good. Something we can also do. Let me turn this off real quick is um, maybe have an is maybe have a high transition. Right click high transition. I'm going to go is fade. OK, so now turn on boom animation. Fade out. Quite simple. OK, I said sound effect. We're going to do sound effect. If you want to know where I get my sound effects, I download them from tuna.voicemod.net. It is basically like a community held like soundboard thing. It's amazing. They have some categories, for example, games where you can find a bunch of video game sounds. Anyways, how do we make Streamerbot play a sound when it's triggering something? Right click, core, sound, play sound, sound file to play. Let's browse. And I downloaded the sound of Luigi saying bingo. Bingo. <laughs> So let's click OK. And officially now, anytime someone types the word yeah in my stream, bingo. <laughs> that's what you'll be hearing. I know I said channel point earlier. If you want to know how to do it with a channel point, uh, you just have to switch the trigger for a channel point. So let me disable this. Let me right click, go to Twitch, channel reward, reward redemption, create reward, name it, and uh, yeah, click OK. And now, you go to your channel points, you're going to see it right there. Redeem. Bingo. That simple. And there it is. If you have any cool ideas that you would like to see templates for or just tutorials on, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me on Twitch and I will see you all next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.